Rapper JD Youngin has been on the rise. He has finally been making a name for himself and gaining some success in the music industry. But new updates involving the police could have him locked up for life and will be ending his career that just started to take off. You will not want to miss what we have to show you, so stay tuned. Also, if you are a JD Youngin fan, leave a like on this video. And if you do want to join our Christmas giveaway of a new iPhone 11, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message and you will be entered. JD Youngin is a young rapper out of Louisiana who has recently been on the rise in the rap industry. He's only been rapping for a short time and he's already made so much success for himself. If you don't know him, his first project came in 2016. It featured some big names including NBA Youngboy. He dropped his first mixtape in 2017 and in the same year is when he had his breakout single taking off. He took full advantage of 2017, putting out a lot of music, dropping multiple projects, and since he is a talented artist, he started to get some buzz pretty quickly and then his name really started to take off and he became very known after he released Sliding Freestyle and then since then he's been on the rise in the industry. But his rise could be coming to a very quick end after some updates have been revealed that could have him locked up for a very long time. Most rappers grew up in the street life, usually have a long record of being in and out of jail multiple times. It's kind of expected in my opinion because if you're a rapper who made it, then that means you put in work and it means you're pretty ambitious. So if you grew up in a tough background where it's hard to make money, it's usually the ambitious ones that take the risks, which is usually why they end up having some type of record. They take the risk to make the money, which is in my opinion why a lot of rappers do have records. But for Jada Youngin, growing up in the street, he does not have a bad record at all. It's actually pretty clean. He was arrested this year of 2019 at Rolling Loud, the weekend of Rolling Loud, and he was charged with felony drug possession which does add to the record and it did stop him from being able to perform, but overall it's nothing too crazy. He didn't have a record before that, he doesn't have a lot of marks on his record so he's pretty clean. He says he has always been in the street and a lot of his music is about the street life, so for him to grow up in that type of lifestyle and not have any type of record, good for him, more benefit to him. It does help him out in a lot of ways if he ever got in trouble again. Having no record as a kid always looks good but his clean record could be for nothing. It could all be officially changing in a very bad way. So stay tuned, we will let you know. Jada Youngin recently did have his chain snatched while he was performing in North Carolina. Just to note though, Jada did say that they reached for his chain and didn't get it. And then they ran up when his security pulled him out of the club, his chain fell and they picked it up. That's what he claims, either way it goes, they got his chain and then they instantly went to social media and flexed it like they took it. Caused a lot of drama back and forth. In this drama, Young and Ace, he posted a video saying that they have an hour to return the chain. Eventually, he ended up with the chain. I don't know how Young and Ace came up with the chain. That's still to be revealed. There is a lot of talk saying that they bought it back. Who knows yet? It still has not been revealed. But with new updates, they could both be facing a lot of time because the man who allegedly took the chain was just shot and killed in North Carolina. Hours after the murder, Jada Young posted a video of him in a ski mask and he was wearing the chain, which means he got his chain back. Who knows how he got it back after Young and Ace had it? probably gave it to him. Who knows how they got it? Like I said, it could be true that they paid them for it, but it does look very suspicious on both of them that they have the chain back and the man who allegedly took it did get shot right after all of this went down. It does look a little suspicious, but there really is no proof. There's no proof that Jada Youngin or Youngin Ace had anything to do with it. The only proof is that it does look suspicious because it happened so soon after the chain got taken and they have the chain back. But that is definitely not enough to prove that it was either of them and it's not enough to really assume that they actually did it. But the bad news is there has been a police update and it could be coming down on both of them very, very hard, especially for Jada Youngin. With recent updates, since this story was very popular right after the man died, it caused a lot of people to speculate and they tried to make connections and they made these connections public, which was bad news for Jada because cops issued a warrant for his arrest involving this situation. 
Once they saw all of this media and people making connections, they issued a warrant for his arrest. The only lead the police have is that the shooters were in a dark sedan, so there's no proof that it was done by him, there's only speculation, no face, no case, but with this story being so public and popular, and taking place so soon after the chain was taken, and with the back and forth via social media, it's just a very bad look for both of them, especially with them having the chain in their possession. Their friends are going public and saying that there's no way that they would do that, that they're dumb enough to actually do that and then go on social media and flex the chain and do all this social media stuff. So their friends are trying to put it out there that they're not involved in this, but we will have to wait and see how this unfolds, but it does look like they are going to be pressured for this situation. With that being said, I am going to end the video here. I do want to know what you think about this. Do you think this was a result of the chain being snatched or just a coincidence? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a Jada Younger fan. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media. See you in the next one.